Hello everyone, haven't seen you for a long time. Uh, I'm sitting here on my terrace, the weather is not very nice. And I'm, I'm drinking white wine, quite cold, so it's not making me feel warmer. But nevertheless it's quite relaxing. I wanted to talk about, like, everything that I have been feeling um, is happening around me. And uh, you have to understand what is surrounding me. The story why I am in Belarus <laughs> and why my life is in Austria. So, uh, slowly but surely, the people who were messing with my life are getting exposed. But the, the problem is, they think that I'm making all those stupid videos and it does not spoil my life. Why? They ask why. Because they used it, they used them and the information about me, like what they perceive as my, as my uh, disadvantage, as my weakness. And they're thinking, why isn't she failing? Why isn't she failing? Those people who are in Austria and who are conspiring against me. Uh, and I'm thinking, <laughs> those uh, um, efforts are being exposed. Why the police cannot uh, put them in into prison? Uh, we know, don't wish anything upon another, otherwise it will happen to you. But in this situation, I can assure you, these people belong to prison. These people belong to prison. And who these people are, there are, there are a lot of people who were made uh, knowingly or unknowingly to conspire against me. I'm not sure who started it all. Uh, there is uh, my former Ukrainian friend uh, who completely destroyed uh, a good image of Ukrainian people for me. And uh, the right the right kind of abstract idea why it all happened to me at all is uh, number one because of the uh, of the conflict in Ukraine and when Ukrainian be, uh, received a lot of benefits in Western Europe they started to behave very uh, like like at home like they are at home everything is allowed to them and they were, of course, uh, pushing uh, all the other Russians and Belarusians to the side, taking their places, stealing from them, messing with them, and just because they can, just because it, it was their time. It was their time to thrive. This is how they thought. Uh, the second thing, um, and I'm absolutely not ashamed to speak so about Ukrainians, uh, because they behave this way. They behave this way. Um, and the second thing, uh, it's her personal vendetta against me. Personal vendetta against me. Something that uh, she cannot understand. Why I don't want more? Like, why at all I'm doing this video? I'm making those videos. She would never do this. Why at all I'm not... I'm not rushing to another big city to take some kind of position. Don't I want a better life for myself? Or why am I so why am I so alone? Why why cannot I be like her? And she thinks it gives her the right to jump over my head. And I'm sure that the fact that it it was so easy for them to organize the espionage against me. It was so easy for them to steal things from me, to put themselves in front of me and to put me uh, in the back. Um, it was so easy that they are sure that it was the right thing to do. If it wasn't so easy, it wouldn't be the right thing to do. It would not have been the right thing to do. But it was easy 
and that's why it makes them the right people, which is nonsense. What I am doing, um, uh, I know that I belong to Austria, I know that I have made uh, my life very stable there and it wasn't destroyed. It was undermined but it wasn't destroyed because I'm still able to influence people and what I have reached for the last two years of staying in Belarus and not being in Austria, I have turned people's heads in my direction away from Ukrainians well probably because Russia is winning so um, Russia helped me in some way as well but not um, probably not the um, not the best topic but I hope still it, it is interesting interesting to know my husband who is Stefan Kuhn might be very um, uncertain because he was uh, sabotaged as well um, like <laughs> you have to understand why he was sabotaged because aristocrats are very shy people if a dog barks they run away and hide so I am still waiting for my husband to come to Belarus uh, because without him I cannot come back and they know it, and everyone knows it. Um, what else? I have kind of some kind of a plan, what I will do there in Austria, um, since I have become so um, self-assured, self-assured what I will do there in Austria. First of all, of course, I will open the club of older mothers, as I'm going to be an older mother no matter what even if I freeze my egg cells even if I get get pregnant when I'm 40 years old I will open this uh, club of older mothers in in Vienna I believe the society is guilty like 90% why women in Austria get pregnant at an older age after 35 whether you want it or not whether you like it or not if you gave birth after 35, you will be an older mother. I don't take it as a compliment, but I take it as a pride that you still managed it. Uh, then I will get all the compensation for this persecution. All the compensation. And uh, I think I will be very uh, expressive, openly expressive about what I think about Ukrainians in, in Austria. Like everything, everything on, on the plate. Uh, not, to, not to be kicked out of Austria again, I, first I will get my Austrian passport. Which, which is also due, which is owed to me. Uh, which is out to me. I would have gotten it. I would have gotten it if they if they hadn't sabotaged my life If they hadn't sabotaged my life there in Vienna strange, right? Strange like uh, In most cases I blame um, Blame Ukrainians. I blame them for that for this Ukrainians who moved to Western Europe um, these elites uh, who used each and every possibility, opportunity and cannot live an honest life they have to steal and cheat and, and be sneaky and jump over people's heads and uh, monitor them and spy on them take from them <sighs> behave as if they are good people when in fact they they stole it all. That's it for today. Hope to see you next time. Bye.